This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, so if you're looking to buy or sell cards, then definitely check out their site linked in the description. I'm a big fan of how they do business, so check them out and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is giving me another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video on Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro 2, playing another match. Even though I do know that singles are available, I mean, I guess if you guys are down to watch like 20 minute videos of like match format play, then I guess that's something that I'm willing to do. Uh, hmm, Goblin Bird, alright. What are you doing? Is this Heroes? Uh, it's going to be really upsetting to me if it is Heroes, but I have an Ash Blossom, so there's that. What is this? Oh, it's a Mizuki. <laughs> Which is grayed out for a second. Alright, well. Hmm. Some form of zombie deck. Interessante. What's going on? Oh, Minerva. That will catch an Ash Blossom. Uh, I will gladly let that get ashed. <laughs> Very gladly. Because that's not a cost, and I don't want you milling cards and possibly drawing cards. You took the minus to make Minerva, and you kind of get the plus back off of that. Uh, yeah, okay, just ending your turn. That was great. That was a great interaction for me. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to make ABC Dragon Buster. Because even though we don't have Union Hanger, we have the tools to do so. Um, so that's fantastic. That's one of the reasons why I love this variant of the deck. The Symphonic Warrior variant. Uh, a Ghost Ogre. Well, that doesn't do anything for you. Uh, because I'm still going to do the exact same shit that I was going to do beforehand. Only now, I'm a little bit more upset that I have to do it in the way that I'm doing it. Um, shit. Because now, let's see, I can make Proxy Dragon, I can Special this. Um, I could make Deco Talker Special this. Uh, make Deco Talker and then add A. But then I'm not doing anything else. Yeah, I have to make, um... I think I have to make Tsukiyomi. No. We'll do this. Uh, this is, this is the way. Uh, because it, I get rid of the Solemn Strike. Uh, but I get rid of, um... I get rid of his Minerva. So that's what we're gonna do. That Ghost Ogre actually kind of irritates me. On a, on a, like... This, this is kind of pestering level. Because <laughs> um, I can activate this, get mics, normal summon this. Um, fuck. This actually is a lot harder now without Union Hanger. Shit! Um, pendulum Scale. So I'll scale this up. And I'll activate this. Ditching this. To summon mics. And then I get my additional normal summon here for B. And yeah, I can't really make the ABC Dragon Buster here. That's saddening. You know what? We're gonna put him on Better Millet. Better have it. Better have it, better millet. Um, I can still make Proxy Dragon after this is done, but he does get to mill cards. That Ghost Ogre actually sucks for me. Um, he milled two wolves! Whoa, I'm glad that I ashed that. Oh my god, that would have been summon two wolves, and that would have been draw two cards. Uh, that would have been terrible for me, and it is still terrible for me right now, in fact. Um, I'm definitely going to lose this game. I did not think that, that Ghost Ogre was going to be what lost me this game, but that random Ghost Ogre, the shittiest Ghost Ogre I've ever seen, people get fucking lucky when they play me a lot more than I want to take credit for. But, ugh. Because you shouldn't really count things on luck. But that was like the shittiest thing. The first card you see is a tin goldfish. And you're going to ghost ogre it? Like, you have no idea what deck I'm playing. It's literally the first card you see that wasn't a hand trap. You cannot tell me that was the right play. <laughs> I'm a little tilted. Um, but this is a match. So I can get him game two and game three. That's the theory, right? Uh, that is the that is the fear eye. Or I could still just win this game. Um, depends on what happens here as far as uh, being able to summon ABC Dragon Buster or not. Uh, does he play two Minervas? I'd imagine that he would, because why wouldn't you? But at the same time, some people I've seen play one, but the last time I saw anyone playing Minerva deck actively was when Minerva was still a prize card. And they were playing one because, obviously, expensive. Um... So, hmm. Really? Okay. So yeah, just not making anything else. I guess you only play one Minerva. Weird. But at the same time, I can kind of understand it. 
Uh, <laughs> uh, so what we can do is I can make Deco Talker. I can do a few things. What I can do, right, is I can normal summon these two. I can make a uh, proxy dragon. This will add back B, uh, which I can then discard for mics, but then I won't do anything. Yeah, that's not going to do anything. Um, so the play that I just need to make is I need to normal summon these, uh, and then just let that be it. Or actually, the play is just the play is just discard A um, to summon mics, and then to summon ABC Dragon Buster. Uh, that's actually just the best play here. Because any rank 4 that I make is going to take the two cards out of my hand um, and take up my extra monster zone. So, like, there's there's no reason not to just do this. Uh, so, we'll do this. Uh, I'm going to not kill the snow. I'm going to kill the two wolves, and I'm going to keep the card in my hand for, uh, for banishing something during his turn. I'm not killing the snow, because snow's effect activates engrave. I don't want to deal with that. Um, but yeah. I play nine Union Hangers in my deck, and I have not drawn a one. <laughs> That's kind of sad. But also, kind of predictable. But so from here, I'm going to hold down A. I like how it actually physically checks this box as you hold down A and let go. Like, it'll check it, let go, check it, let go, check it, let go. Um... <laughs> I actually really like that. Uh, but let's see. Uh, opponent's Graveyard has those seven in it. Um, and I've got those three banished. I've got these in my grave, so I don't have any A or B, C pieces in my grave. Uh, and my extra deck is still pretty full. <sighs> well. Well, well, well. Things to consider. Uh, fairy Tale Snow. He's normal summoning another Fairy Tale Snow. He's going to target this. Well, I'm going to immediately chain it to banish a card. I'm going to banish this fairy tale snow, and then I'm going to chain my ability to tag out um, for these three cards so that I can consistently make my ABC Dragon Buster for the rest of the game. Uh, at least that's the theory. I don't know if I'll be able to make it consistently for the rest of the game, but we're going to try. Yeah? Uh, but so A can be summoned over here. So one of his fairy tale snows is now banished. He just committed his normal summon to this fairy tale snow. I think he's getting punished for not playing two Minervas. Um, but even then, like he had two wolves on the on the field. So like even if he plays like Kagatsuchi, that was live. Weird. Uh, but yeah, so he's gonna kill this, which actively gives me a search. So don't quite know why you'd be actively giving me cards. But at this point, you're probably just too far gone because. I started sticking ABC Dragon Buster, and it's really hard to counteract this deck when that happens. Um, that's a B. Uh, this, there's no more targets in my deck, so I only play two and two, and one of them is the right heal. Uh, but so what I can do is I can just go ahead and make ABC Dragon Buster um, pretty, pretty standardly. I can make Decode Talker. I will make Decode Talker. So I'll special Decode Talker by sending these to Grave. Because then that will trigger my C. Well, the thing is, I have no idea if it's C or A that's triggering there. So I guess we'll just uh, I guess we'll just do it like this. Uh, but so C and A will trigger. Um, I have I only have the C and the A in grave right now. That can't be right. Oh, because there's a B here. I see. Because it physically moved them out of the graveyard. I see. That makes more sense to a degree. Um, but so I will just add back uh, C and then that way C can be special summoned here I can then normal summon A and then I can detach C to ditch B off of uh, Sukiyomi to draw cards so yeah that'll work uh, because this snow is on the field so it's not a threat so I just need to detach the C here for this to be what we uh, what we do. Because there's already B engraved, but if I detach A here, like, it's over. Like, it's <laughs> gateway to chaos, man. Sure. Uh, can't activate it, because I don't play that card. But this deck plays ABC Dragon Buster, so I have the ability to just discard it um, to banish a snow, which is what I will do, to be completely honest with you. 
I did not think I was going to win this game. I thought that Ghost Ogre lost me the game. Uh, but he's getting punished for not playing another uh, another dude, another Minerva. So I guess there's that. Uh, but so I've been trying to film this game, like this video for a long time. Uh, people keep leaving as soon as ABC Dragon Buster hits the board. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I guess I guess it just triggers people how good this card is. I mean, it is a very very good boss monster. Um, but like the thing is, is that this game forces you to play out both players' first turns before you can even surrender. So like the fact that people are leaving is insane to me. <laughs> Uh, but I'm going to take out D-Barriers, I'm going to take out Warning, I'm going second. Um, so, I'm going to put in, uh, Twin Twisters? No, I'll just put in Kaiju cards. Uh, Kaijus are like the go-to siding for going second cards that I put in. Uh, let's see, 44, so I'll take out, I'll take out a Strike, and I will take out, I can just take out the set rotation cards, or I can take out one of the set rotations. I'll take out one of the set rotations. That seems kind of alright. Um, yeah, we'll go with this. Not the most solid side decking strat, but also perfectly acceptable. Because I can just draw cards to out his Minervas, which is what I want. I don't want him milling double wolf again. God! Ah! Um, but, uh, okay, so Solitaire, sure. Uh, you can have that. And the thing is, is that it's incentivized to play Kaijus against a deck like this as well, uh, Zombie Sworn, because like they make they make Omegas, and if they leave them, they're incentivized to leave Omegas on the field to put Mizuki's back. And so, if the if the uh, if the Omega is on the field as turn player, I get the priority to make the first action in each phase. What the fuck? Why did my opponent leave the game? This is so weird. They just summon Solitaire and left. They just crashed. I think the server crashed. Oh well. I'm not losing another recording, goddammit. I'm not losing another recording. You cannot tell me that I'm gonna lose more recordings to this bullshit. <laughs> because people keep leaving. Not in this way though. Like it physically tells me at the bottom that opponent left the game, like forced disconnect, all that. Server exception. This one it just said disconnected. That's so weird. Fuck. Well, Alright, well, I guess I'm just going to keep this video as is. Uh, upsetting, but hey, whatever. Uh, I'm sorry, guys, but there's nothing I can do about this. And I need to get a video out. And I've had people leaving all day. At least the game was completed, so I guess we'll go with this. But anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Like I said, sorry. I'll try to film another one to make up for it today. Uh, if I can't get one, then shit. Sucks to suck, but let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Drop a like if you want to see more. Subscribe if you're new here and want to see more awesome Yu-Gi-Oh! content. And links, as always, are in the description to my Facebook and Patreon pages. If you like my content and want to support me directly and my ability to make content directly, then consider backing me over on Patreon. It helps out a lot, and it's the best way to support the channel and its growth and things like that. So, It also enters you into monthly raffle giveaways for packs and all that sort of stuff, so definitely go check out the reward tiers for that. So, Special thanks, as always, to Travis Miller, Iradium, Jay Garcia, Yuki Phoenix, and Troy Perkins, as well as everybody else that is currently supporting me on Patreon this month. You help out a lot more than you may know, and a lot more than you may think, and you have my eternal gratitude. But, as I've already said, guys, I'm sorry. I'll try to get another video with a complete match out today. If I can't, sorry again, but I'll try to get it done as fast as I can, essentially. But, thanks for watching, as I've already said. Thanks for your time, and as usual, guys, take care. I'll see you in the next video. I have no idea what's going on with this server right now.